What up y'all? And welcome back to a very special morning. Uh, we're out here on a solo dolo mission. Uh, good pigeon feed this morning. It is sitting at 6.50. Sunrise was 6.45. 6.47 I believe. <sighs> Look at the sun coming up. Beautiful. What we got today. Uh, my pigeon full bodies. Right at about... I don't know, seven dozen, right at seven dozen. Definitely going to have to put new batteries in this guy. He's getting slow on me. This one's brand new, as you can tell. Uh, good looking spread, two mojos. Uh, I think I brought some extra batteries. I'll probably throw in there really fast. I've only seen, I couldn't tell if it was ducks or pigeons, a group of five. Could have been teal, honestly. I could not tell dove. We're gonna see a lot of dove this morning. There are so many dove in Kansas. I personally cannot wait for dove season. I am ready. We might be headed to North Dakota, so beware for the honker videos. But other than that, the season's getting ready to fire up. I uh, wanted to let you guys know before we get going here. Um, well, those are honkers coming at us, wow. Wanted to let you guys know before we get to running and gunning here. Uh, at Sand Hill Flyways, my guide service, um, I had about five new spots open up. Uh, some people had to cancel due to life events, but um, if you're interested in coming this uh, fall 22, 23 season, come on, uh, get a hold of me, fill out the inquire to book form uh, at sandhillflyways.com and I will be getting a hold of you. Number two, we are giving away a September dove teal combo hunt to one lucky guy over at my podcast. The podcast is always linked down below in the description. We are firing them up pretty hard. We're gonna have a lot of special guests on board and there's always a hunt giveaway over there. Planning on giving away some decoys over there as well because we got some new sponsors for the podcast. Yeah, exciting stuff going on guys. Enough blabbing, let's get to shooting. Another one fell out. They came over the back and just did it. Holy cow. What the heck? I think I killed three. I just kept going. Today, guys, I got you on the big camera. I bought an awesome tripod. Here comes one back right here. Get in here, buddy. Oh, yeah. He did. That was a big group of birds. I was not ready for that. Guys, you gotta drop a comment down below right now if you like the big camera on the tripod right here. Here comes two. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, they both dead, baby. Oh, it's firing up already. I'm So today's plan is I bought, let me get my words straight. I brought a ton of shells and I am going to pull the trigger literally as much as I can today. That's the plan. Solo hunt, why not? See how many we can get down. I already have, I believe that's five and two goes. So looking pretty darn good. That group was huge. I didn't even see them coming. They came from the back and went Bruh. Come on guys. Come on guys. Solo hunt. Y'all been y'all have been asking for more solo. Uh, just me and you here. 
here we are. Smash the thumbs up. Let's get this video well over, come on, 2,000 likes. If you're watching this, it only takes 0.5 seconds, 0.2 seconds to smash it for me. Come on, help me out. The season's almost here. Oof. There are pigeons hitting the field galore. Another 10 pack, probably a 30 pack behind me somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, long shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I got all that on shot cam. <laughs> well, we are definitely at about 10 already. And we are five minutes in. <laughs> this is going to get brutal on these birds here. I knew it would be a good one. They've been coming here for a little while. Been scouting them every single day. Uh, I don't know what happened, but the pigeons really broke up got off of their big solid feeds and started feeding in smaller, you know, more huntable feeds, put it that way, more of them. So we're going to start scratching some more pigeon hunts while they're available. Here is a flock of 20 coming. Boy, this is going to get dirty. Oh boy, look at this group. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh man, tore them up. Dropped that minimum five out of that. Here they come back. I'm gonna spray at them one more time. Maybe not. Oh man. Oh man, holy moly, here they come back. This means they're fresh birds when they come back. I'm gonna try to shoot them right over the top. One more. I told y'all, I told you, I'm going to shoot today. I am gonna go try to go through as many shells as I can today. In fact, I'm, my barrel is hot on my leg right now. Come on guys, smash the thumbs up. Okay, a little uh, statement here before we go any farther. Um, it's 7.02. Pigeons fly early. Um, first off, when they're flying away, they're still pre pretty grouped up. And when they turn, so after that first shot, they kind of scatter, they bind back up, and when they turn back out in front of you, trying to get away and they're tight that's why I keep shooting because out there all you got to do is get in front of that flock and you can knock some down I told y'all I'm gonna spray and pray today <laughs> goal is 30 if I can shoot 30 by myself I think that'd be pretty pretty amazing uh, goal is 30 if I get 20 I think I'm already at 10 but Coast clear, yes. We got a dead mojo. Oh, thank God I brought some extra batteries. Twofer. That was a twofer. Oh, oh, oh. oh, up up above. Miss. Oh boy. That was a two for boys and gals. That was sweet. Here they come back on the left side. I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, I dusted you. Oh, he's dead. He going down.
He going down. He going down. We're taking him downtown. That's what we're doing. Five pack. They just keep doing it. I'm gonna take a long shooter. Maybe not. I told you. I told y'all. Bobby is pulling the dang trigger today. I'm getting my practice in today, boys. Getting the old eyesight all warmed up for the season. By the way, I didn't have the camera on and a dove landed literally right at the base of the mojo. I mean, right on the stake, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, oh, new flock. That gum, I don't have a break to even. Yep, I gotta go. This flock's gonna do it. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, we gotta change these batteries. Um, fresh birds, I've learned, um, like these, like this is a fresh field that hasn't been hunted. Uh, fresh birds, you can get away with quite a few mojos. Um, if you've hunted them, you know, a couple times and there's not as many or something, you really probably should pull the mojos. They get used to them, just like public land ducks. You know how they get used to mojos after a little while? Same with pigeons, if they've seen it enough, you know? Okay, but oh, I'm using, these are just dove mojos, guys. There's that. Oh, look at that guy. <coughs> She's ready to work. <sighs> cool weather this morning, 63 degrees when I left the house. Right now it's 61. Feels like 61. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this single getting in here. We're gonna let him go. That's a young bird. Here we go. Here comes a big group. A little closer. Here's the big group. I'm not gonna do it yet. One more spin, one more spin. Here we go. I just tore up like 10 easily and I guarantee you they're gonna circle back around. Guarantee you I just tore up 10 in that go. We might get our 30 boys and gals. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Another one down. Another one down. And another one decoying as we speak. Holy cow, look at this. Right over the top. Crushed. That boy did. Oh. I missed. Oh, there's a lot of pigeons coming out. And I have dead birds all over the place. Now guys, I wanna tell you, on pigeons without a dog, I let my birds lay. Um, with ducks and geese, you cannot do that. Um, you have to pick them up right away. So, this, look at these pigeons. This is like a 50 flock. Oh my. Here we go. Dump the gun on that bad boy. Oh my barrel, I can't even hold it on my leg. Oh my god. They're coming back. I'm gonna shoot at them whenever I can. Put up one more shell in, Bob. One more shell. Here we go, here we go. Go down, dude. Yeah! 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 Oh 
boy, this is better than I figured it was going to be. I knew it was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be this good. Let me know. Please drop a comment right now if you like the big camera. You have to let me know. I bought this tripod just for this. I'm sick of the GoPro. I really am. I can't stand it on my head anymore. It's heavy on my hat. It messes my shooting up really bad a lot. So, please, please, please let your boy know. 10 pack. And they are new. They're not liking it so much. I, I guarantee you, ooh, right here. Solo dolo. Solo dolo. Oh, yeah, that boy got crunched. Crunched. Alrighty. Oof, there they are, not yet. I need to go put the mojo back out. I only got one. Come on, come on five pack, you can do it. Get in here now, let's go. Got one. I don't know if you guys could see that on the big camera or not, but I did smash one out of the seven. That flock just wouldn't do it. They kept spinning and spinning and circling me and circling me. And it just becomes a point you gotta take the shot. Here. We got a really large group up top. Extremely large group, point fifty in this flock. Some of them have to be birds already shot at. There we go, single it. Ah! Sometimes you gotta try them, okay? <laughs> Massive flock up top, guys. Hope you guys can see them up there. It's the same flock that's been messing with me. Kind of just circling. Guarantee they're birds I've already shot at, so. They're not falling for, for my tricks. Um, but the singles, the triples, the new birds to the field sure are. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to, once we shoot one more time, I'm gonna take my five gallon empty bucket. I'm gonna do a quick lap and pick up dead birds. I have a bunch kinda in a big perimeter circle that definitely need to be picked up because I don't think it's helping the situation with decoying as, as we speak, so. That's gonna be the next plan. Hopefully we got a band on the ground, right? Haven't had a banded pigeon all season. Usually we have a few, you know. We're due, we are due. Smash the thumbs up, give us some good luck for a band when we go pick these bad boys up. Two, okay. Coast is going to be clear here real soon, and we're going to have to do a pickup job. Load up. Always take your gun. When you go on a cripple roundup, when you go on dead bird pickup, always take your gun. It never fails. I get out there, and I left my gun, and a bird's right on top of me, and I should shoot it. So, always take your gun. Boy, so I thought I had a lot more. A lot farther out from the decoys, but it's about the farthest one yet. It's only about 15 yards out of the decoys. Man, I've been really smoking them in the spread. Got a lot right here. They've been decoying over here really well. Check this out. We got one, two, three, four, five right here. Check this one. We got a blue check right here. Are you special? No, you're very young. Blue check feral. So again, guys, uh, pigeons, if I don't have a dog, I leave the dead birds in the spread, usually back up, um, so they look like an extra decoy. It definitely works. He's dead. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, buddy. I had to throw that one in there real quick. GoPro died. If there's anything I'm probably sick of, it's a GoPro, to be quite honest. To be very honest, actually. Here we go, there's a new flock. Get in here. Get in here. Brrr, brrr. 
Trahu! 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 You never know, it might work. Sometimes it does. I've done that before and it works. It'll turn some birds. <clears throat> Where's the pigeon call at? Here we go. Here's a new group getting in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna let them do it one more time. They're gonna do it pretty good, it looks like. one coming back right here here we go think we can do anything oh really five shots and nothing <laughs> I tried to get in the middle of them and just tear them up but it didn't work okay oh, I did hit one I think I dropped one on that last go all right two more on the board. I'll take it. I will take it. Jamming the shells we have went through. Uh, definitely three or four boxes already. Three boxes maybe. Well, there's a flock of like 12. The back half acts like they want to come. This is the first flock I've seen in a good 15, 20 minutes. It's now 7.47 in the a.m. obviously and it really slowed down seems like um, man pigeon hunting summertime pigeon hunts mornings are definitely the best just in case you guys didn't know uh, but other than that it's usually done by 8 I mean we're about 10 minutes off so um, it is a very wham bam thank you ma'am type of hunt they don't fly all morning it's just right at sunrise for about an hour and a half and that's it so god am i having fun i wish frederick was here with me it's just still a little too warm i'm starting to sweat it's definitely in the 70s by now he'd be panting like a dog <laughs> um but man i really wish i had him out here with me the new dog yes this would be a perfect hunt for the new dog um, I will be getting him at the end of this month. Uh, we will have him, in, we will definitely have him for some dove action and teal. So he's got a lot of learning with me. We got to get acquainted. We got to mesh. He's got to learn my ways. I got to learn his ways, vice versa. Uh, but I just got to keep telling myself he's not Fred. Is he highly, highly trained on a whistle and everything? Yes, but he's not Fred. So I'm going to have to be very patient with him. And probably go on a lot of hunts where I'm not shooting, obviously, and uh, just run them and run them and run them. So let me know if that's something that interests you to watch. You know, me and the new dog handling him on the hunts, giving you my tips. I think me handling him on the hunts and giving you guys my tips on handling is much, inter is much more not only entertaining, but has a ton more direct information rather than doing a training video with bumpers, right? Hunting is the best form of training that you can give your dog. Now, that being said, don't take your four month old dog hunting. You got, you got a gun break him first. You gotta do all those things, but I am so ready to have him and get him kicking butt. We have two doing it, look at this. Oh yeah. Oh ho! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh lord! Did you see that? Did you hear it hit it? It went. When he kept coming at me, I'm like, if I smack him right here, this is going to be gnarly. Oh my gosh, I tore that bird up. Those two completely decoyed. That was beautiful. It took me way too many shots to kill the second one, but when I did, I'm going to go grab him. I bet he's tore up. Two just freaking decoyed all the way in there. Smoked one. Don't know how I missed the second one. I have no clue. I don't even know where those birds came from.
There we go. Oh, did I hit him? Oh, I jammed. No! What happened? Dad gummit. That wasn't supposed to happen, Mr. Franke. Uh, it's long. <coughs> as long. As you guys can see, I'm rocking my old, <coughs> my old Franke Affinity 3. This is a three inch gun. This is the gun. Um, this was the first brand new shotgun that I bought when I started the channel. I think I started the channel and I was rocking the TriStar for, I don't know, six months, maybe six months. And then I bought this and uh, I have now had it. This is year six of YouTube and you can see how much I've shot today. And if you've been here a while, you can imagine how many three inch shells, steel shot, lead shot, everything, how many have been through this gun. Um, it's an absolute trooper of a gun. Uh, for the price, 700 bucks I think it was back in the day, or six or seven, I don't know. Absolute champion of a gun. I prefer this gun above most. Um, I am so comfortable with it. I've shot it more than anything I own. Um, I'm just, I'm so comfortable. I can pull it up, um, as you can see, the sight is all smashed and broken. It's just like a barely a little nub. But I love this gun. I'm so comfy with it. I shoot the best with it. It's taken some beating over the years. Falling apart a little bit, but still an absolute tank. I love it. I keep the tube on this gun uh, for snow geese and pigeons. And then, you know, during regular waterfowl season, uh, when I have to have my plug in and all that dove season, I'll probably run my Benelli SB3. I love that gun as well, but when I'm pigeon hunting, rocking a tube, <coughs> excuse me, I prefer my Franke. I'm just so used to it. <laughs> oh my God. I looked up. I don't know where these birds are coming from. They must be coming from behind me. That's the third time that's happened. Just boom, right in the decoys. Like they've never seen the spread before. So definitely new birds coming from behind me somewhere that passed me before and didn't look at me. He just stayed in the decoys dancing. Long enough for me to turn on the camera, get ready and this is an awesome hunt. Now listen guys, you don't always have banger hunts, okay? biggest question and concern is people saying bobby like i've learned so much from you um but you know i a lot of my hunts aren't successful guys the reason that this hunt is this good right or any of my hunts why they are successful at any rate right they, some aren't successful and i still put in the same amount of work scouting scout 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 you have to scout you have to see where the birds are coming from their flight direction, um, the flight line they're coming, you know, on to the field, and then where is the best place to sit for the wind, keeping the sun out of your eyes. See, the sun is to my left. I'm not looking right into it, which is good. I'm in between two evergreen trees. Um, and where the birds want to be most, right? Where they're most comfortable sitting down and eating. That's where you want to get close to, or right on the X. Call it, call it the X, I know, cliche. Uh, but getting exactly where they want to be when they're comfortable, right? Birds want to be comfortable. They want to feel safe while they eat, um, and they know where the food is. So, scout, scout, scout. By the way, scouting, this information goes for dove, pigeon, duck, geese, anything, right? All of the hunting I do requires a lot of scouting to make it successful. We never know what type of, what rate of success we're going to come out with. Sometimes, you know, like this I knew, I was like, I'm definitely going to shoot 10 birds by myself. Definitely. Uh, but you never quite know the exact success rate 
until you just make it happen. And every time you make it happen, you learn more and you learn more and you learn more and the better you get. It's warming up. It is nine o'clock. It's now a south wind. That is not updated. Still really nice. It was a north wind at zero this morning, if that makes any sense. But it really was. Um, you could barely feel a little bit of cold north breeze. It was awesome. Right now it feels like 72. So amazing. I am in pants. This morning I debated on putting on a hoodie. It was that chilly. So what did I say this morning? I was hoping to shoot 30. Check it out. Yep, 32. 32 solo dolo hunt. Uh, I did my first round of pickup. I counted uh, when I made the pile and it was at 29. I just got done walking, uh, made a really big wide loop and I picked up three more. 32, I got my goal. Isn't that awesome? Call it uh, a lucky educated guess, I guess. But man, I love some solo dolo pigeon hunts. If y'all think I should do some solo teal hunts, public hunts, drop a comment down there and let me know, as well as I really need to hear from you guys. Should I go to North Dakota for early honker season? It's just next week, so I really wanna know if you guys like absolutely wanna see those uh, videos. Um, as you all know, for the last five years of my life, that's all I've been doing is traveling. Um, I don't think I've missed an early honker hunt uh, in the last three or four years. And I'm just at the point I kind of just want to stay home with the family, you know, for one full season. But I wouldn't mind getting an early honker hunt out of the way in North Dakota, coming back, and that being the only trip of the year. Let me know. But I got a lot to pick up here. Got all the decoys separated in a pile. Good looking pile. Uh, special birds today. Not many, like, legit special, special ones. I would say here's a good looking blue check adult. This one here is probably our special one. He is a uh, Grizz. He's a gray and like a check, but a Grizz. He has some really nice white features on his face. But other than that, most of them are blue checks. Most of them are blue checks. Well, back home and uh, I decided to redo the uh, outro of this video to tell you guys we are in fact headed to North Dakota. And I am taking a very, 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 the most important special guest in my life uh, with me up there. And we're going to be hunting for three or four days. So uh, I don't want to spill the beans right now and tell you guys who it is. A lot of you can probably guess who it is. Um, it's going to be an extremely special trip. So you don't want to miss uh, the North Dakota trip coming up. Um, it's not only one special guest, uh, but... All the boys are going as well so be looking out those videos will be coming up and probably two more videos um, I would say definitely by Friday we should have the first one up hopefully it might be Saturday but honestly thank you guys for being here all of you loyal fans and subscribers and supporters that are still here uh, if you're new thank you but all of you guys that have been here since day one I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and helping me, allowing me to live my dream every day. With the lodge, hunting, making videos for you guys, incorporating my friends, my family. You guys are like family to me and I cannot thank you enough. I've had a lot of questions about the Cupped Ducks camo hats. They will be dropping August 25th, duckswaterfowl.com. Uh, if you buy anything from ducks, bucks, Guggen, use code Bob at checkout to save yourself some money. And when you use that code, it helps me out as well. The Ducks t-shirt of the month this month, you want to grab it before it's gone, is the Fred Ducks bumper t-shirt. This one here, awesome. Old Frederick getting at it. That photo was taken this summer up at Bonzel's place. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have not. Be safe out there. The season's almost here. But until next time. Bye.